and welcome back to Summit Sunrise again on your week-long edition. Uh, I love I love Mondays because I get to hang out with Erin from Red Buffalo, and uh, she always brings me tasty treats. Like it's a perfect what, way to start a Monday. It really is. What what did you bring me? Well, this I try morning? to get something very nice because after the weekend, you know, we have sunny weather again finally. Right. Yeah. And so you have a white chocolate coconut latte, oh. an iced one. My gosh. She seems very like tropical and seeing as some people are going to the tropics, most are not. Right, can, exactly. You know, have your own little bit while you're in Summit. Exactly, for those of us that will be staying here <laughs> through the entire mud season. Um, now, where are you guys located to, yes. to get these fantastic drinks? Absolutely. Here? So we're 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. So that's literally one half of a mile off of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. We're right next to the factory stores, the Silverthorne Pavilion. This uh, some stage transfer station, all of it. We're so central um, in Silverthorne to anything you're trying to do or get to. And so, where did your inspiration come from to to open this place up? Because I I love I love how it's run. I mean, it's it's well, a family owned you. business, and I mean, you just have absolutely. Well, Silverthorne really needed. There's no, no coffee shop north of the interstate, mm -hmm. and there's so much neighborhood north of the interstate. And I've lived in Silverthorne for 15, 17 years now, wow. and it has such a good sense of community, but no great places for community community to meet. And I figured you need a place like that. Every town needs a little place where everyone can get together, have their meetings, or just have a fun drink together. And to be locally owned and operated, it means you become a part of the community and you help foster community. And so you have the library book sale. We donate to various things. So if you're Looking for something to do this Saturday, it is town cleanup day around the county. Mm -hmm. Red Buffalo will be providing the coffee and tea for the Silverthorne town cleanup. So if you're showing up early, it's like 8.30 in the morning, you'll get free coffee and tea from Red Yum. Buffalo. Later there is a picnic, so it's a good thing to do for your community and to be involved in it. And so that's what Red Buffalo is really about. When you're being locally owned and operated, you buy local, you are local. And that's kind of what you, the sense you get when you come in. I could not agree with you more. It really is. It's kind of like the cheers of coffee shops. You know, like it you is. go in and, uh, and you, you know, you, you recognize people, you get to hang out. Um, you can uh, get some fantastic tea and coffee. And then, of course, you have great little, like, munchies, too. We do. We you got to... pastries and uh, breakfast burritos. We even have some gluten-free options as well for those who have gluten allergies. We have some yogurt parfaits and hot oatmeal for people looking for something on the healthier realm of things. And some sandwiches as well and you can always take that and enjoy it on our back patio which is right on the blue river or so the, out the front patio which has views of the gore range and it's just a beautiful day too and the week's supposed to be gorgeous oh yeah it's gonna be a perfect time to get yes. a little iced coffee or some yes. iced tea and or sit gelato. back and oh my gosh or your gelato yes. can we tell them about your gelato absolutely so, so we carry good. gelato from glacier ice they're a company in boulder they've won 5280 magazine's best uh, gelato and ice cream for years so we figure you might as well get it from the best rather than try to beat the best right and um they're, it's great because gelato is half the fat of ice cream. It's a creamier texture, has less sugar, but it tastes so much better. So that just means you can eat twice as much. Right. And mm -hmm. we make them in milkshakes. You could put a scoop of it in a smoothie because you have to build a smoothie menu. Mm. And it's just such a perfect time of year to be enjoying gelato. Oh, it really is. And, yes. you know, I, I enjoy, too, the fact that um, in your shop, it's not one of those things where you, like, feel, like, really kind of crowded. Like, there's so much yes. space to kind of spread out. If you need to get some work done, it's a great spot to maybe just take a, a break from your office or from yes. your, your house and just kind of get out and you even have you know like wi-fi and like we the do whole we have free wireless internet and it was funny because when comcast went down the other day around oh, the county yeah. Yeah. we're actually one of the few places on century link so it's, it's occasionally works well to not be with right. the rest of it so we oh. were still working where everyone else was down and yeah. we have an in-house computer station so if you didn't bring your laptop or your laptop isn't working which happens a lot too and uh, we have a printing station you can fax you can copy etc so you can kind of get your one-stop shop done instead of having to go to your one major copying place and can't right. have any good things to drink there and hey, you can have a drink and enjoy and get mm -hmm. your work done yep or just or just sit back relax read the paper and or hang out and have a, a great chat with you know a, a good friend I mean it really is it totally is the place for the community to, to hang out and to meet and uh, I do love the fact too that you guys are constantly giving back to to our community you're we always really into try something. well and our community is what makes us, and especially during mud season when everything is slow, mm -hmm. and, and you really want to thank all your, your local community, and we want to give back to them. And like I said, we have the local library book sale, and so far this year we've raised over $800 in just 2012 for the libraries, and That's so we have great. their book sale. So if you're looking for a good book to read over mud season, come on in. They're in great shape, mm -hmm. and they're, they range from like 2 to $4, and you help out the libraries in the meantime, too. Right. So it's a great way to 
to be involved. I love that. I, every time I go in there, I'm always it's like perusing. It's, it's so convenient there. to have it right there. Yeah. So, uh, and what are your month season hours? We're open seven days a week from 6.30 in the morning to 5.30 at night. Okay. So well, oh my gosh. Hard to miss us. <laughs> yep. Perfect time to stop on in if you haven't been before. Uh, the, the coffee drinks are fantastic. Their loose leaf tea is some of my yes. favorite. I've, I've gotten addicted <laughs> since I've met Erin. Uh, but there's so much that, that you can enjoy while you're at Red Buffalo. So definitely take the time out. Well, yes. cheers to cheers. being a Monday and mm, Right, I delicious. missed, I'm sorry. That's okay. I was looking all at right. the writing on the cup. I was like, did I get that right? <laughs> they didn't see it. It's totally yeah. fine. It's not like this will be replaying all week. It's cool. All week. Yeah, all week. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to try this cheers thing again, and we'll yes. see you back here in just a second. Is that tonight?